Hey everybody, this is Tommy with the Disney State of Mind. Today we are at the Magic Kingdom. We're so excited to be here because today we're gonna get to see the brand new Country Bear Jamboree show. We haven't seen it yet, and so we're so excited to see this. And then this morning we were able to snag a virtual queue for Tiana's Bayou Adventure, and so we're gonna be heading down the bayou also. We're so excited about hanging out here in the Magic Kingdom this morning, and we're excited about taking you guys along with us. Like I said, this morning we came out so that we could see the new Country Bear Jamboree, but then we thought, hey, we're here. We've also got to try to snag a Tiana's Bayou Adventure. And so we were able to get that, secure that. We're boarding group like 37, so we've got a little while still. So we're so excited about getting to see this new Country Bear Jamboree. We've actually heard some of the music from it already. We've watched some other folks come. Yesterday was the official first opening day. And we were here, but we didn't come over to the Magic Kingdom. And so we have really looked forward to seeing this thing open back up. The thing that we've been hearing and seeing all summer long is that the parks are empty. That appears to not apply today. Now we did come in on the tail end of a cavalcade. And so that does change things because a lot of people come out of the shops and pull over toward Main Street and pull over to the parade route. And so that could be kind of skewing this. I'm going to see once we get in. We honestly didn't even check wait times before we came in. because so we really only came to do, you know, two things. But it does look like today it's kind of breaking the mold of the empty summer so far. Doing a quick check on the wait times. They're really not terrible. I mean, it's not like packed day terrible. Um, there's a few rides that are a little abnormal. Um, some abnormally high, some abnormally low. You've got pirates at about 35 minutes, which on, you know, a, a moderate day is fine. You can probably get it a lot lower than that. Who was sitting at 35 minutes also. Um, but you have um, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train only at 45 minutes. And so even though there were a lot of people there on Main Street, like I mentioned, the, the, most of them were probably there coming out for the cavalcade. And so it's really more of, you know, a moderate crowd level again. It's exactly what we've seen through the summer so far. Um, it's, uh, again, it's, it's abnormal. It's kind of nice, but it's abnormal. And this, my friend, can show you how abnormal it really is. Coming back here into Frontierland and this is our crew and we are one of very few families <laughs> back here right now and so again uh, it's it's so weird there have been all sorts of theories on why this july has been so empty compared to the previous years and to be honest with you i don't have all the answers i don't have really any of the answers other than the fact that Revenge travel is over, um, you know, inflation is getting some families, it's kind of high, you know, there's the, the financial pressures. But other than that, it's just, it's an interesting time here in the parks. So yesterday, you guys know me, I'm, I'm like many of you, if you watch this channel too, like you're always stuck in like Disney Parks news, you watch all sorts of YouTubers and, and all kinds of stuff. Um, but they actually had an extended queue out here wrapped around expecting huge crowds yesterday for opening day. And guess what happened? They weren't like they had no one wrapped outside. Everyone was able to um, wait inside. And it looks like this is the exact same thing happening today. In just the second day of this attraction open, um, they have put away all of the turnstiles and everything. I mean, all the posts for the switchbacks and everything. And we are going to walk straight into the building. A little intro there, Norman. All original country band musical tambourine featuring a wild and wooly assortment of grizzled old grizzlies singing a little country, a little western, and a whole lot of everything in between. So get those paws tapping and those claws flapping. Well, five bears who need no introduction, but I'll give them one anyway. Well, let's hear it for the five bears.
seeing the talented trio, Bunny, Bubbles, and Beulah. <laughs> or, or is it Beulah, Bunny, and Bubbles? <laughs> well, any way you count it, they're triple the fun. <laughs> something a little different. How about a little something? So what did we think about the brand new and improved Country Bear Jamboree? I liked it. I thought it was good. I liked it, but there was no food. Yeah, I, I thought they did a good job. I still think they could have started with the Bear Band came to play now in the good Okia G. That, that yeah. way, you know, you have the Bear Band introduction, kind of the old feel with it. And then they could have done all these new renditions. But it was cool to see... The crowd like clapping again and singing along and having fun. Uh, uh, yeah, and I just think to enjoy it. So yeah, I do. I do think it was good. I mean, like I 
said it, it brought it up to you know, today's time with some of the newer music of the Disney renditions. And some, I, thought it was, I thought they did a really good job. I did too, and it was great seeing all the animatronics work correctly and everything <laughs> was fine. So I, I, I thought I was gonna, like, I really thought I was gonna hate it, but I don't. And so I, I think that I it's good. I mean, we've got one that's, you know, upset. Mostly because they changed the name of Liver Lips to Romeo, whatever, I don't even know anymore. But hey, yeah. I, I thought they did a great job. We've still got a little while before our virtual queue is called. And so we're gonna head over here and check out the merchandise shop. This is actually recently opened back up when Tiana's first started um, making, you know, having rides again when it first opened. They had all of the Tiana merchandise in other places, but now this is open again. This is kind of a small store, and so I totally get why they did that. But we have not been in here since it's reopened, and so we're going to try to hop in and see if we can't see what new stuff they brought to the store. Here we go into the Critter Co op. He's so adorable. Oh my gosh. I mean, who could, who could make an alligator cute, right? Or a crocodile? Yeah. How cute is that? It's a piggy bank. Oh, that's fun. What's on it? What's on the. It's your restaurant fund for Tiana. Oh, nice. It'd be that's... my Disney fund. Yeah, that's right. Over here on the fireplace, they got some stew going. It actually makes some sounds. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Here's a new mug uh, for Tiana's Foods. They actually have a couple of new mugs for the strip. They have a new one for Jungle Cruise also that I haven't gone over there to see yet. And one of the neat things about this is since this is themed to her restaurant, you've got hot sauce, you've got this piggy bank that Denise found before um, that's, you know, themed around Tiana's foods. Over here, there's some seasoning, like some rub for smoking meat, things like that. And so there's a lot of things here around the cooking theme, and I really like the way that they've done this. This is fun, these light up fireflies. Look, they all interact. See how he was lighting them that all. That is cool. So they, awesome they, all they all interact with each other? They all interact with each other. Some of them are taking a little nap right now. <laughs> but the ones that aren't taking a nap will talk to us. Wow. Yeah. So... We got a big group of people together and they'll all talk to each other and communicate. That's fun. A little fun. you can put on your shoulder. And a little mason jar carrier is also trucking space. That's awesome. I want to get those and put around the back porch, like on the deck, <laughs> like yes. hang them around. That would be a whole lot of fun. So we did not just buy this stuff here. Cambry actually came into the park with it today. You can tell that like Tiana is like, it, it's all the rage now, which she's loved Princess and the Frog for a while, but she came all decked out, ready to ride this thing today. <laughs> this is actually a different lounge fly than Cambry has for Tiana's Bayou Adventure. What's yours? So yours was just like a Tiana, right? Not specific to Bayou Adventure? This was the hundredth, actually. Oh, okay. From the hundredth? Okay. I just noticed that it was different. I wasn't sure which one you had. And then those ears are obviously different than what you had. So that one's for the ride. We got these from Sam's. Yeah, and this was part of the Sam's pack of ears. We got a, like five pair for like $14, I think. Yeah, so... It's weird that he's sleeping with his trumpet. That just shows you how much he loves it. Because he is, he is like out. He's asleep. But hanging on to the trumpet. <laughs> Carter's got him playing along with the track. Even though he's asleep. That's when you know you're talented. You can play in your sleep. All right. It is time. We have been called. Go and get on Tiana's Bayou Adventure. You guys know that usually we're gonna get on with like ponchos and all the things. Not today. It's hot. <laughs> we're gonna enjoy this. Splash down. Heading into Tiana's Bayou Adventure, and I have never been more excited to get on a splash type ride in all of parks. Man, yesterday it was nice, 
today it is hot. I went ahead and swapped over to the GoPro and so things may look a little bit different. They're definitely going to sound different because I have the GoPro in its protective case because I don't want to bump it and break anything. Ooh, they do have these fans out that they actually have in Lego store. And those things are pretty incredible. I do really like the feel of the queue with the music and everything. And then some of the things that they've done to the outside of the building is, is really nice. I mean, there's things about this that I know that a lot of people are griping about. But there's also, you know, a lot of things about it that I actually really like and so you're just gonna have to come and experience for yourself and see what you think about it you might get wet and for once yeah we're totally okay with it even this one even even Denise nodded yes yes that's when you know it's crazy right there abnormal day
anywhere else on the ride. So that's not as much water as it used to be. That's a good thing. <laughs> All right, I'm doing this on my phone, holding it out in front of my face with my arm just to get my like knee jerk reaction. And my knee jerk reaction to me personally riding it instead of just what I have seen, I'm pleasantly delighted, right? I mean, I, I, I liked it. Um, it was not, uh, I, as, a, as a Disney purist, right? old school Disney. Like I come here for the nostalgia, for the feels, not for the rides, right? The rides are simply an extension of how Disney makes me feel, right? Um, so I miss Splash Mountain, but that was done like well. I, I know that everybody's great about, hey, there's parts of it that seem like they were done cheap. Um, I, I liked it. I felt like it lived kind of in the tradition of Splash Mountain. Um, with a few more updates, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I liked it. All right, so from a perspective of someone who hasn't watched the ride, seen anything on it, what'd you think? I loved it. I want to do it again. <laughs> you want to do it again? And, I really liked it. I liked it a lot. And this is somebody who hates the log flume rides, <laughs> and so, all right, so you had an interesting perspective. What was it? I, I enjoyed it. However, I did I do like Splash Mountain better than this. What was it about it that was different for you or not quite there for you? I mean, I will say the theming was very immersive, especially when you get like, you know, shrunk down. And like that was just pretty cool because it made you look like you were going into a screen, but you weren't. But I feel like I just overall enjoyed the other ride better like from a story perspective and like it had that old Disney nostalgia type charm to it yeah but this was a really good ride though yeah and I think that's my only thing is the the nostalgia piece of yeah other than that like I enjoyed it a lot I liked it and with that we are done I know that it was a short day we just got done what we came out here for uh, we really enjoyed Country Bear Jamboree. Yes, it's not the old. Now, I wish they would have kept a few more nods to the old, but it was good. And yes, we enjoyed Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Um, it was not Splash Mountain, but it was okay. Like, I felt like there were some nods to it. Now, there are a lot of, you know, issues that I had with the queue, right? I mean, there's, uh, it, it did not look like New Orleans. It did not look like a bayou, right? They didn't do anything to the outside. It was just the ride itself and then the, the facade if you're facing it. But again, it was fine. Uh, we enjoyed it. Remember that if you guys see us in the parks, make sure you stop and say hey because we would love to get to meet you. But remember until then, keep living in a Disney state of mind. <laughs> Bye guys.